Hey guys, I'm back. I hope you guys had a good Christmas, a good New Year. It is 2019 and I'm feeling good today. I haven't filmed in like a month, um, but I had an amazing vacation. I hope you guys had a good little break for the holidays as well. Um, so yeah, it's been a whole month and I haven't recorded, so... Um, I did film, if you watched my last video, you're aware that I went to Paris um, for a little over a week and it was so, so much fun. Um, I did like, I kind of vlogged, um, but I have not been able to upload it because there's like an issue with the computer, I don't know what's going on, but you will be seeing that in the near future. Um, we went to so many places, the Eiffel Tower was beautiful. We went to Notre Dame, we went to the Louvre, we went, I mean, we went to so many places, just, we walked so much. Um, but it wasn't too bad, like, I feel like we probably burned off a little bit of what we ate, because we ate so much. Like, the bread over there, the baguettes, and the crepes are delicious, um... There's just so much good food over there and it was just an amazing experience and I can't wait to upload that video and kind of like share with you kind of like our experience and stuff. It was a lot of fun. Um, I went with my husband and my sister and my brother-in-law and we had a great, great time. Wow. After Paris, we went back to Los Angeles um, and we were there for a few weeks with our family and it was nice to just be with everybody and i ate way too many tamales yeah i ate just way too much so yay for the holidays and now it's 2019 and off to a new start it's a new year um however i wanted to quickly go over my christmas gifts so for christmas I didn't really get any crafty things. I got um, sweaters, I got some jeans, I got gift cards, um, Red Lobster gift card, Victoria's Secret gift card. Um, I got some hoodies. What else did I get? My mom gave my husband and I an espresso. I've been making my lattes. We had to go to like an espresso store and go buy pods and stuff if you own an espresso let me know down below um and let me know like what your favorite pods are and um i've been really enjoying the the actual espressos and then i um we also got like the milk frother i, I forget the actual name of it but um i like warming up my milk in there and then just making my latte. So that's kind of what I've been doing. I also enjoy just the regular coffee. Um, what else did I get? I got my husband a PlayStation 4 for Christmas. So I got a PlayStation 4 for Christmas, you know? Um, so I had to get myself a few games, of course, right? So I got Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Little Big Planet, and I feel like there's one more. I'm trying to see. I can't see from here. Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Little Big Planet, and Raymond, I believe. Those are my kind of games that I like at least. My husband's been playing like Fortnite and, um, ooh, what is that called? Tomb Raider? Is that what it's called? and Assassin's Creed Th those are like his kind of games so anyway that has been taking away some time from crafting yeah speaking of like crafting and stuff um I didn't have much time on vacation like I really thought that I would have some time I think I stitched like twice for like 20 minutes no joke I did some diamond painting on the plane um the flight to paris was really long and so i did a little bit of diamond painting and then when i got back to my mom's house um when i got back to my mom's house i continued to diamond paint but 
the picture was not coming out like it was intended to. It was kind of small, which I understand is not that detailed when they're smaller, but it was completely wrong. Like, I think I was doing a snow, I was doing a fox. You'll see in the video, I was, I was working on a fox and the fox has like black eyes and it has like black, um, like details to it. And there was literally no black diamonds at all. I was like, what the heck? It was coming out horrible, so I literally just threw it away. Like, all that work, gone. But I wasn't going to be happy with it, and I didn't want to waste my time anymore. Um, anyway, so I didn't do a lot of crafting during the holidays. It just, it is what it is. I was enjoying time with my family. And in Paris, it was just, I really wanted to stitch a little bit in Paris just to say, like, I was able to stitch on my Paris piece in Paris, but that did not happen. Nope, we were, we would get up in the morning, shower, get ready, go out literally all day, come back super late. One night we even came back at five in the morning the next morning because there was this club that we found. It was a night, let me tell you. You might see a little bit of that in the vlog that I post. Um, so you will be seeing that soon. I just need to figure out how I could get that uploaded because it's not really working out. Um, I'm getting like an error message on the computer or something. So let's see what else, what else? I think that's it. It was freezing in Paris. I mean, it was so, so cold. I thought it wasn't going to be that bad because I live in Colorado and you know, it gets to the twenties and thirties and, but it was so cold over there. And I think it was because it was so windy. So it felt colder and we were walking around. So it's not like, you know, here at home, you know, I just go outside, get to the car or then go outside, go to the grocery store. It's like, you're just outside walking for hours. So yeah, it would be to the point where we would get like the hand warmers and try to put them in our boots and like I would put the hand warmer in my hand and then inside of a glove and then inside of another glove and I was still freezing. Um, it was ridiculous. We layered our pants, um, like double layered our pants, double layered our socks um, the first few nights because after that from walking around so much like my feet just swelled up and I could not double my socks because it wouldn't fit in my boot. Um, we would layer our shirts and then we would put on a jacket and we'd put on a scarf and beanies and everything and we were still freezing. So that was kind of the only bad thing. But the good thing about going in the winter is that there's like no lines for anything. Um, I hear that during the summer it's just like horribly crazy like you could stand in line for hours um and we were in line for maybe 10 minutes at the eiffel tower and no line for the louvre um it was just great um i would rather suck it up and be cold than to be waiting for hours in the heat that's just me personally um but yeah other than that everything else was great um so yeah I could go on and on about Paris, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let you guys go and experience it because it was just amazing. It is 2019. I have goals this year. Normally, normally I don't. Normally I don't do like the whole like res New Year's resolution and all that because yeah. But this year I actually have goals. I have resolutions that I wanna hit and I have like stitchy goals too. So I kind of like w really quickly wanted to go over those. So in terms of stitching, okay, my goals are to work on my whips. Jen, don't start new things. Jen, don't do it, okay? I want to work on my whips and limit like realistically, I'm gonna start some stuff. I already know it, I'm not gonna kill myself over it, but I'm going to limit myself this year. Um, I hadn't decided how many. I'm thinking one a quarter, so four for the year, four new starts. Is that realistic? Like, 
So I'm gonna limit myself to four new starts in 2019 and the rest I want to work on my whips and let's see and then also a big goal of mine is to remind myself that these are crafts and I shouldn't stress about getting things done by a certain time and to enjoy it because a craft is to enjoy and I mentioned this a few videos ago because I stress myself out because you know I work and it's really busy and then just life in general for everybody is just busy and so uh, realistically I would like to commit more time to crafting but I just can't like I, I literally just can't um, so I have to take a step back when I'm stressing out about crafts and just remind myself that it's a craft it's a hobby it doesn't need to be done it is meant for enjoyment um, so I don't want to stress about doing it. I just want to, if I'm feeling like cross stitching one day, I will cross stitch. If I feel like diamond painting, I will diamond painting. That being said, my videos, my goal was to do like weekly videos and that's definitely not going to happen. I'm thinking more like two to three weeks, give or take. Um, I just want to make sure that I have something to share. If I don't have anything to share, then, you know, there's not much to share. So those are my goals for the year for stitching goals um i mean it's kind of same with diamond painting i've already accumulated a, a few diamond paintings maybe more than a few um i don't need more so i'm gonna limit myself like i really want to try to cut back on costs this year um you know i just got like financial goals of my own that i want to meet and um, we want to move this year and there's just like a lot of things that I want to do and I have a lot of crafts already that I really don't need to be buying more like realistically none of us really need to be buying more right just saying like realistically I know I'm going to though so I'm giving myself a little bit of buffer so just uh, hold me accountable if you see me buying too many things okay all right speaking of um like whips and stuff like working on whips the only um project that i kind of worked on was my sal which is lizzie kate santa is it santa claus so that's how far i am i'm working on the gingerbread van right now um and then i have like the flower with the pot down here so it's coming along um i almost put it away because i'm like it's not christmas anymore but i love christmas so i'm gonna do christmas all year round because i love christmas um so i'm kind of working on that one and like i said i just want to um i just want to pull out what i want to work on like i don't want to like overthink it um that's really all I've worked on for st for stitching like the past month like that's it that is literally and it wasn't much I think I finished this wreath this number and the stocking like three tiny things no stitching no stitching um oh for Christmas or for the New Year's or whatever you want to consider it I bought myself a little gift I bought myself, oh, you could see it. It's this lorry stand and it's great. You could adjust it this way. I'm sure you've seen this before. I have been loving it. I've only stitched a few times with it, but I love, I got like the extended one. You guys, I'm sure you've seen this. It's the lorry, L-O-W-E-R-Y work stand or work, yeah, work stand, I believe. So you could just put in your Q-snap or your hoop or your um, rods or whatever you have and you could do two-handed stitching, um, stitching, which I still really am not good at. Um, but you know, I'm practicing and when I get frustrated, I just, either way, I don't have to use this hand so it takes a break, which is nice. And then I just kind of do that. And I could adjust this to go in or out. 
which is great. And then what I like the best, let me turn that off, is that you could um, just, wait, I'm still learning this, sorry guys, this one here. Just turn it, you could tie it off, do whatever you need to on the back, and you're done. And then when you wanna put it away, hold on, okay, just take it off. You could even leave it on there. Um, but yeah, just move it right out of the way. I love it, love it. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. Um, let's see, I have been organizing. I don't know what it is about like the new years, like I want everything organized and you know how you have like those junk drawers that you never really care about, like they're junk drawers, you just throw whatever you want in there. For some reason, the beginning of the year, I'm always like thinking of the junk drawers and I'm like, I have to clean those out and organize like, I don't know. It's like my spring cleaning early. I have no idea. Um, anyways, I've been organizing the my flosses basically. So um, like all my fancy flosses and my um, DMC duplicates, I did like an Instagram stories of me kind of working on those and trying to organize them and it's gonna take a while. Um, it took me, I worked on it for like an hour and a half and I still have more to go. And I'm still trying to figure out a way to organize everything the way I want to. But I did film when I was doing that, like the process of like my thought process. Um, so if you're interested in that, I will be posting a video when I complete the project. It's gonna take a while. Um, I just need to find some time, like when I'm watching TV, to kind of like sit and organize it because it's gonna take a little while. Um, but I filmed like the first part of the video and then as I, well, you know, when I finish and I have like the completed like organization, I will go ahead and um, film the rest of the video and then I'll go ahead and compile it and upload it and share it with you guys. Uh, maybe it will give you some inspiration to organize or maybe you have some ideas that could help me organize it a little better. So yeah, that's kind of what I was working on. I also organized my diamond painting stuff because it was getting out of hand because I had ordered some stuff from AliExpress and then I hadn't received it by the time I went on vacation. And then when I came back from my vacation, I went to the post office, they gave me like a box full of mail and there were several diamond paintings in there. So one night I sat down and I went through everything. I did inventory on everything. Um, I laid all of them out. Um, I could possibly show you in a little bit. Toward the end of the video, maybe, I'll show you kind of like my organization on that. Um, but I kind of like laid all of them out instead of like rolled up and I put them into like a presentation board from the Dollar Tree. And then all the beads, I kind of put them together in sandwich bags and put them like in a tote. So everything's kind of nice and organized. Um, there's only two diamond paintings that were too big to fit into the presentation board. So those kind of just stayed off to the side. But I will say that I have been diamond painting more than I have been stitching. I know, don't hate me. I know people like convert or whatever. I love all sorts of crafts. And when I'm really dedicated to like, like it's always like one thing is priority over another all the time. Um, like a few years ago, I was like completely obsessed with quilting and I'm always gonna love everything, but I just kind of have to rotate things and I don't wanna force myself to do something that I don't wanna do, basically. But I, I still love stitching. It's still in my routine right now. Stitching and diamond painting are my two go-tos. Um, diamond painting is just a little bit easier in terms of like, I don't have to think about it so much and I just pull it out and work on it while we're watching TV and I just feel like it goes a little faster. You get more progress, which I think is what I like about it. And cross stitching, like I love it, but it takes forever. I mean, let's be honest, it takes forever to finish something. Um, and so I think of all the, the whips I have and I'm, I get excited and then I sit and work on it and I get like this much done and I'm like discouraged, you know what I mean? Um, but I do really wanna work on, on my stitching stuff still. Speaking of new, okay, new starts. I know I'm limited. I limited myself to four a year. Um, I already bought one for this year. I'm really excited about it. It is 
what is it called? The Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Cell. It is Pumpkinville. Um, I purchased it at the end of December and the first one gets released January 15th. Today is the 10th, so in five days. I already have everything kitted up. Um, I stopped, but on the way, let me back up. On the road trip back home from vacation, I passed through Denver and went to the stitching, sh the a stitching shop, I think is what it's actually called. And I passed by and I picked up a few of the fancy flosses that I needed. Um, so I have everything ready to go. The only thing that I can't decide on, oh, let me see if I can pull it. Have everything ready to, well, kind of. I have everything, but I have to, um, put my DMC on bobbins and stuff, which I actually kind of forgot. I have to do that this weekend or something. But I had picked up these to, um, petite treasure braids that are called for. Glows in the dark, apparently. And it is PB300. It's like a white. And then I picked up... Let's see here. Let me just pull everything out. Weeks Dye Works, Battleship, and Blue Huron. I feel like I already have that one, actually. I think I already had this one. I was just organizing these. That's why the name sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure I had it already. Whoops. Um, let's see here. I think those were the only two that were called out for. So just these two, and then these Weeks Dye Works, and the rest are just um, DMC. Um, except for my um, black and white, I use Anchor. I got like an extra bob, like I'm sure I have some, but just, just in case I always grab an extra. There's only 25 of them for a dollar at Hobby Lobby and you use a coupon, they're like really cheap. So I have to put all my DMC on bobbins and then I, can, I keep them all together. And then this is the called for um, fabric that I also bought at the stitching store. This is um, 18 by 27 Oaken, and it's a Lugana. Um, I don't think that it actually calls out for Lugana, but it was a little more affordable. There it is. I really like it, but if you know me, you know that I'm not a fan of brown. I don't even know why I got it, Jen. Don't know why. Like, I had something similar and I just sold it, like, a couple months ago um but i just wasn't sure what i was going to use yet and that store is not like super close to me so i just grabbed it um it was like 23 dollars i think or something like that um so i'm thinking i had like a few other fabrics um like blues that i had considered um uh, but there are some blues in here that might clash with it so i haven't decided quite yet i have to kind of um pull out the fabrics again and do another floss toss and just kind of make my final decision before starting um but i really think i'm going to switch it because knowing me i just I won't enjoy the app like afterwards I'm not gonna enjoy it as much I'm gonna be midway through the project and be wishing I would have chosen a different fabric um, so yeah I have this kitted up though pretty much ready to go and I'm really really excited about it I really want to um, I don't want to fall behind on this one I really would like to keep up with it again not stress about it but realistically it's doable like it's it's a whole month that you do this one one piece right like it's totally doable um i don't want to stress about it but i want to be um i want to be more aware of you know my timeline i guess uh, before the next one comes out i want to make sure i have it done because i notice that if i just fall behind once that's it like i get discouraged i'm like i'm already behind which is what happened with the haunted mansion one um from the tiny modernist I have a lot of that one done, but I didn't finish it because one month I felt behind and then it just kind of all went down the drain, um, which I still want to work on that one this year. I'm going to get it done by Halloween for sure. Like I want to hang that one up. 
anyway, um, I feel like there's so much more I want to share. Um, I, I'll kind of give you like a, by the way, I have like a new tripod. So, whoo, work with me. Okay, let's see, kind of show you what I've been working on, like in terms of organization. So in here, I'm, I'm filming a video on this, but I'll kind of give you like a sneak peek. So these are like my duplicates here, okay? And I'm putting them, whew, I'm putting them into snack bags like this with the DMC number, and then I'm putting them in alphabetical order. They keep falling, but you could see. These snack bags are from the Dollar Tree. And while we're down here, you can see the lorry stand just goes right underneath. See that? It goes right underneath. I really like that. Um, then, let me show you really quick my um, my hutch over here. So these are my fancy flosses. So I just um, like put the brand and then the color and I need to find something to actually put this in. Like this is just temporary. I need to like put this in something. These are the floss away bags by the way. I need to put these in something and organize them by the different brands. So working on that. And then this is kind of where my diamond painting lives currently. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch you around really quick. Hold on. All right, so this is kind of where my diamond painting lives, like right here on my hutch. This is what I'm currently working on, and it's Tinkerbell. So I have all that done. Unfortunately, I'm running out of the drills. Like number seven is almost gone, and there's still a lot of white to be done here. Which, this is a second Amazon order and it's a different seller that I run out of drills. Like, I don't understand. Um, it's going to be super cute, though. So, I'm, I'm going to continue working until I run out. I already contacted them. They said it's going to be like a month before I get the backups. Whatever. Um, I'm going to quickly show you. Okay, this is my closet. And I'm going to show you kind of like a back, like a behind the scenes, I guess. So, this... These two top um, shelves are like my crafty shelves, I guess. These are the two big diamond paintings that do not fit in, um, in what I'm about to show you. Let's see. So down here is a poster board. Let me try to, let me try to get this out. So I have this um, project display board from the Dollar Tree and I laid out my diamond paintings in here. So I'll move this around so I can show you. Whew, okay. So this is my flamingos. Then I have Beauty and the Beast. Then I have, what is this one? This rose, which I think is really pretty. It's a good size, 40 by 30. I have this other flamingo. The, the picture, the colors aren't very bright, but the actual um, diamonds or the drills are, so I think it's gonna come out really good. I have, this is a Halloween one, I've already showed it. That one's done already. I have this, um, you can see the Eiffel Tower, Paris one. I have this owl that I'm working on. This one that's being worked on. And this Santa one, which I kind of started a little bit. It's upside down. Let me try to show you. It's a little difficult to show. But so I have all these in here. And then that way they stay nice and flat. And I just put it under this thing that I have here just sticks out a little it's fine and then here is my tote for diamond painting so I organized everything in here 
So this is from Michael's and it was on sale like for $10. Um, so I have like my trays here, my extra wax. I have some extra beads here, uh, my pens and my tweezers and stuff. And then in here, this is a project that I'm currently working on. But then all my other ones that I have started, like I have them in their baggies. These are just extras. But all the other ones, this is my large Paris one, is all, everything's in there. And then I have some extra ones of these. So that is, oops, let me put this back. Kind of my setup for a diamond painting. And then. Woo! Sorry. Sorry, guys. I love these totes, by the way. Let me see here. Woo. Okay. I also have... Let me see if I this. This smaller tote here. This is for my cross-stitching stuff, and I showed this in a previous video. Um... It is basically, I'm sorry guys, I'm learning to use this tripod. I'll open it really quick. So, there are like some specialty flosses in here, some beads, extra needles. Um, I have a whole bunch of like needle winders here, some extra needle threaders. Um, I think this is like a water soluble pen. I have like extra scissors here magnets um and then here i have um patterns basically just like a whole bunch of patterns oh i really want to do that one. okay so that is that and then again this one is smaller than the other one but it's the same like brand it's from michael's i don't know exactly what the brand is i don't think it says anywhere um, but yeah, this one is shorter than the white one. I really love them though. So let's put that back. You can see here the white one versus that one there. And then I have these two, which I've showed before too. These are my whips. And then these are fabrics in here. Um, and then these are containers for diamond painting as well I'm sure you know which one if you diamond paint these are very popular you probably know what what these are and I'm saving them for my bigger projects which are those two which I cannot wait to start that one but I promised myself that I need to finish something before I start them so and then I've shown this as well this is like a drafting table kind of um, you lay it down and it comes up and I I tape on there my big paintings and I sit at a de at like the kitchen table and I use that to work on my um, diamond paintings. <sighs> That's about it guys. That is it. I have a few finishes here that I need to put away. Like I need to get another one of these and store them so that they could kind of stay safe. And then in here I just have a lot of like miscellaneous containers and stuff that I use when I organize. I'm gonna flip you back around. Okay guys, well, that is it. That was kind of like a different um, type of video. Like I don't normally um, walk you through my house and show you like the behind the scenes, but I thought it would be fun. And by the way, I dyed my hair a little bit darker and I cut off like three inches and I like it, I'm feeling it. Um, I just have to get used to it. I feel like maybe I need my eyebrows to be a little darker. What do you guys think? Like, the eyebrow pencil that I use is, um, I think it's a little bit too light now. I don't know yet. Anyway, I think that's all I had to share with you guys. I need to get to work because I have a lot of work to get done even though it's like I think it's like 6 p.m. but yeah I wish I could just sit here and stitch or diamond paint but it's a busy life guys it's a busy life I will say that last weekend I relaxed a lot 
that was good that was good anyway all right guys i will talk to you guys later you guys could see my little my little baby oh she's not feeling good oh my babies look at she got she got toys too for christmas by the way oh is that your toy that she already messed up yep chance 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 Lost the other dog. Oh, well. All right, guys. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.